Iran's double standards exposed as female Russian officers spotted without hijab. So guys, you know, we figured who was actually allowed to not wear a hijab in Iran. And um, it turns out the answer is be a Russian military sugar daddy. So <laughs> a female Russian military officer attending a public event in Iran caused controversy by wearing a short sleeved military uniform without a hijab, igniting further debate on the country's mandatory hijab rules. The incident comes amid Iran, Russia and China's strengthened economic and military ties amidst growing tensions and the implementation of stricter laws requiring female pharmacists to wear a black hijab while working. It also came before two, excuse me, it also came two days after Bijan Mobave, a member of the Iranian Parliament's Cultural Commission, passed a seven point proposal on better enforcing the mandatory hijab rules in the country. Iranian netizens criticized the government for double standards and applying stricter codes to Iranian women while exempting foreign officials and journalists. This is not the first time a Russian female official stirred controversy by not observing Iran's strict dress code. In June of last year, Maria Zakharova, the spokeswoman for the Russian Foreign Ministry, accompanied Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in Tehran. Well, uh, Lakarovov wore a headscarf and a long coat or manteau during an official meeting. Her legs were not even covered. Manteau. manteau. Yeah. Um, so I thought this was very, very interesting. So what happened was there was a, um, you know, a military meeting that was publicized in Iranian state media, right? And in a lot of the publicity photos that came out from this event, there was pictured this Russian woman who was wearing a short sleeve uniform. Like it just cuts off, you know, like right here below the shoulder. So showing full arms and wearing no hijab, just having her hat. And um, this pissed off a lot of people. <laughs> And it brought up memories from when there was another Russian foreign official just last year who showed up and she was wearing like, you know, the cloak, but she had, she was wearing the dress with no tights, like her legs were just showing just her bare legs, which obviously, um, this is whorish behavior. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, um, Armin, what do you think about the, you know, immodesty of these Russian female officials? I don't understand. Like, this is inside Iran. Mm -hmm. How did she even get all the way to this place without a hijab? She was like, like she got to the airport and she's just walking around without a hijab all over the place like this. She was and at a short state. Days? a state official meeting with media and publicity there taking photos and she had no hijab and short sleeves how are they they must there are be. government officials up and down these meetings these were published these were published by state wow. media do you think so obviously there's, there's not like they missed it it's not like they missed it right they saw I know this <laughs> This must, I don't know how to interpret this other than Russia just, you know, being their daddy now. This is daddy yeah. Russia that they can't speak back to. Yeah. They got, basically, the Iranian government is so desperate and so dependent on Russia and China because this is so taboo. Yes. They, like, okay, it's one thing for you to let, walk like this in Tehran, in Upper Tehran or something. But to just get out the airport like this, walk all the way there, and then just attend a government meeting and nobody just says anything? This is insane. I don't know. Think, I think, do you think it's because it's Russia and they can't do anything and they're afraid of Russia being angry with them? That's my only explanation. That's the only way that this makes sense. The simplest answer is usually <laughs> the easiest and most likely. And that's... The answer that makes the most sense. That is the answer that makes the most sense. There's nothing else I can think of is, until further, is, until is further there information. Any other explanation? 
No, I can't have any. I, I can't find any other explanation. This is guys. This is so taboo. It's not just it, guys. If the government, if if you go to a government meeting like this, it's it's like the government is endorsing it. This is such a major red line that they trying to Iranian government is trying to even ignore that this is happening among civilians in Upper Tehran. Like they're acting like this is not something that is happening. But for <laughs> them, the reason why this is such a red line is because there are a lot of. Oh wait, did you remove that? Oh yeah. This... Yeah, I wanted to show this the one that I was referencing where she has bare legs. At a government meeting, look at that, next to the look at this next to the symbol. Unbelievable! When was that? This was last year. Hmm. What country again? She's from Russia. Russia again, Russia. Um, at, here's another photo of this woman. See, look with the short sleeves. Well, she had she, guys. It's one thing. I don't know how to explain to this, right? Uh, explain this. It's one thing to have the hat instead of a hijab mm-hmm. it's another thing okay the levels of outrageousness okay <laughs> break it down break it down for us the fact that she's wearing tight pants and you could see the legs and this is in a government building meeting that's a whole other level and to top it all off the fact that she is short sleeves this would not be allowed for me in my school this would like I would have to cover up if I showed up at school, at the government school like this. And she's just showing her arms like that. This is insane. Let me tell you why this is insane. Because this is such a red line, not for the government, but for the main supporters of the government. They see red when if they see something like this happening. They're like, we gave, we gave martyrs. For this country to be an Islamic country, what the hell is happening? They're like, we gave, we sacrificed so many people. We did a revolution in 1979. So many of us died. Not that many died, but they act like so many people died. But then in the Iran Iraq war, they're like, there, yeah, there, there, so many people died for that. And they're like, we did all of that for the government of Mahdi. It was for the government of Mahdi. What happened to all our sacrifices for this? This is actually what they think about what they see. That. And they say they they say that if this is what we signed up for, we will topple the government. They're like, we gave all of that so that we could have Sharia enforced upon this land. And now you have on this land, people, women walking around like this, endorsed by our government. This will make a lot of religious people in Iran turn against their own government because they are like something like this. This is why I'm saying this is such a red line. So look how casual she's walking. Like, like nothing happened. Like there's like, this is not, Oh my look God. At, you can see like an iron sepai in the background. Yeah. What the hell did they give them instructions not to say anything? This like, this is what I'm saying. Like, obviously a sepai is standing there. Their first thing would be like, what the hell? Lady, yeah, you can't walk around like this. So if he's not saying anything, so somebody from the higher ups must have told him not to say anything. So this is a conscious decision from the higher ups to just let this happen. And this must be they're taking it up the butt from Russia, or else like there must be there's no other explanation. Why would they do this? They are like, We we do not dare say anything to Daddy Russia. This must be the only I can't think of anything else until further. Uh, um, no information comes out. This is the inf- this is what we're gonna go with. It's it's pretty wild. It is pretty wild. I was shocked to see this. Although I love to see, I love to see the way that your brain breaks because it's 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 so much better because you can give us perspective based on like what you're used to seeing. Like Armin, if you were living in Iran, like imagine when you were and you saw a woman walking around like this, it would be like seeing her naked, right? Well, yeah, okay, no, back when I was in Iran, right, which is more than a, more than a decade ago, this you wouldn't see anything like this in the streets, right? But yeah. to be fair, now you do in some places. You know what I mean? Like for example, Upper Tehran, right? Um not because it's legal but because there's just too many of them and they can't enforce the law right however for the 
For this to happen in a government meeting, in a government building, right next to IRGC, right, this must mean that this is allowed by the higher ups. Um, and that is insane. That is a new, new red line for me, you know, and the, the lady that you showed last year as well, which is insane. But thank you for sharing me. This, this went completely off my radar. So thank you for bringing this to my attention. Isn't this crazy? I just had to talk yeah. about this. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.